Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best recording slash streaming settings in OBS for a lower end PC. So let's get right into it. The first thing all you're going to want to do here is go into your settings and then you want to go to output. Once you get output, you're going to want to go to output mode and click that as advanced. And that's going to be for everything, just your output in general. Audio, replay, buffer recording, and streaming will be advanced. Once you click advanced, go to recording. After recording, I already have set all this up, so you can basically just copy my settings, or you can go step by step. I have where I want my recording path and type standard is fine and uh, generate file name without space that doesn't matter um recording format you i prefer mp4 so go ahead and do that audio track is one and you should be fine with one um and when you're editing you can add more so it doesn't really matter encoder uh definitely do x264 is what i recommend definitely your rescale output is always 920 uh 1920 by 1080 because that's youtube's uh you know basic um format that they put their videos in so yeah that's where you're gonna want that and then this doesn't matter um none of that matters um that's basically you know you can read through it but that's just a warning um but yeah mp4 is fine rate control you definitely want to go to either crf or cbr but i recommend cbr and also a bit rate 4500 um, is a good bit rate for a middle to lower in PC. I'd consider mine more in the middle to lower and not like lower to lowest. Um, if you get what I mean by that, like it's a PC PC, but not like a PC, but not a P, you know? So it, it's, it's good. Yeah, I would recommend bit rate do 4,500 bit rate and then custom buffer size. 3,500 is a very good solid uh, buffer size. So um, I'm actually going to link a video down below shout out to everything tech for his video um, i'm gonna link this down below it's called best obs recording settings for low end pc make sure you guys go subscribe to him and watch his video and get some more recommendations you should be able to run with all these settings but if any of my settings do make you lag or um skip frames in your recording definitely do a couple test videos see how your mic sounds and everything none of that should be affected but do recording tests and streaming tests and uh if it's a little laggy for you i'll definitely um, put that link down below for you guys to go ahead and check out. Keyframe intervals should be zero as um, set to auto. And CPU uses preset should be set as super fast. Um, and that's just a general very good one. Uh, profile you're going to want to set as high. I think it's default as main. And tune you're definitely going to want to do the zero one all the way at the bottom. Okay, so these here are the best options I've found for the X264. Um, and these will be down in the description. It's just two different links that you're going to want to copy in here, separate it by space. And um, yeah, that's all you got to do for your output for recording. So after that, these are going to give you the best performance settings for recording and streaming. You're going to go ahead and click apply the settings. After that, you're going to want to go to the audio tab, still on advanced output mode, and set your audio bitrate to 160 for all of these. After that, click apply on the changes. Then after you do this in the output tab, you're going to want to move over to the audio tab. 48 is fine. Then after that, you're going to want to go to your video tab and set the base and the output scale resolutions to 16 by 9 aspect ratio or 1920 by 1080. So after you do that, you're going to want to change your downscale filter to Lanskos. Then you're going to want to go to the common FPS values and change that to 60 and then apply the changes. Basically, next you're going to go to the hotkey tab. Hotkeys aren't going to do anything for settings as in video quality is, but these will help you get, get different scenes and you can click different buttons on the keyboard to change these scenes. Moving on from this, not that important, but a pretty cool uh, necessary factor for when you get more viewers. You can worry about that later on. You guys want to see a hotkey setup tutorial i'll make one but it's going to be a lot of work but i'll make one moving on to the advanced section this is going to be the last step we do guys so it's very simple all you got to do in the general tab of advanced is change your process priority to above normal <clears throat> render i recommend direct 3d 11 and color format nv12 which it should already be that as well as color space 709 
color range partial and if you have more computer space click full after you have applied these changes you should have the best possible settings for recording in obs for your computer click apply and okay all right so next up guys is going to be your streaming output so all you're going to want to do here is just go to output this is the last thing we're going to be doing for real this time um and if you need audio like i said i already said set all this to 160 and you know don't worry about the buffer. no one cares about that um so for streaming audio tracks i would definitely recommend one encoder and i have an nvidia so whatever you have so mine's going to be h264 new um and then rescale output also 1920 by 1080 as always rate control cbr same as recording and bit rate 4500 as well same as recording um keyframe interval zero auto same as recording and preset i want quality because i want quality over performance if you want performance and gameplay you can do that but i want quality in the video um profile you're going to change to high as well same as recording and look ahead you're not going to check that but you are going to check this one visual tuning gpu zero and max b frames too you could just honestly pause the video on the screen and copy all these down and you should be good to go i'll catch you guys in the next video and please leave a like and subscribe share and comment if this video helped you peace out guys